Before I go, so the guys at Revy sent me some sachets up there, sort of caffeine sticks, caffeine shots. This is a, not a paid advert, this came and they did send me it, but they've got no control over this video. So, all my opinions are my own. Right, so, they sent me a load, I've got two flavours. I've got now, I'm doing currently an 18, 20 miler. So, I've tied them, and I let you know, once I finish this run, I've got on. Revies have become a popular addition to runners, especially after some leading athletes have been promoting the product. Simply dissolve one of the energy strips infused with 40 milligrams of caffeine on your tongue. The firm says it's also a way to recharge smarter. Each strip contains a caffeine dose equivalent to half a cup of coffee and zero sugar. The aim is for a subtle pick-me-up rather than a rush and a crash. The strips are individually foil wrapped and come in a slimline packet simple and well designed. And the flavours? There's a choice of two. You've got Arctic Charge or Tropical Hip, and that's basically mint and mango. So how do you run with these Revies? Well I took one strip 10 minutes before my run, then during my run I took one strip every 45 minutes. Right guys, so Revies Energy Strips, um, very popular, like I said uh, in the description. These things are popping up all over Facebook, I'm constantly seeing adverts about Revies. Um, and it's interesting, very interesting, because I say they're very popular. Um, so the guys at Revy's, uh, like I said, they sent me some, uh, and then I took one of these um, 10 minutes before I went out of my long run, and then I took one every 45 minutes after that. Um, I tried both flavors. Um, personally, for me, I liked the Arctic Charge over the uh, mango-y, well, it's tropical here, but it's basically mango. Um, but yeah, I preferred, I preferred these guys. Um, so they come in these packets like this. Um, it's it, it's a bit weird actually. Um, look, I'll just pull it open for you. So look, you pull it open like that. You get the strip inside, which then you take out. You put it on tongue, and it just dissolves. Um, I felt the effects literally two or three minutes, something like that. Um, and they do smell. Shame it's not smell vision because they do smell really nice. Um, and I, yeah, I felt, I felt the effects after about, yeah, probably, let's say five minutes. Um, did give me a pick up, did give me a, a charge, so to speak. Um, I think where these are useful is um, if you're doing a half marathon, no, actually, sorry, if you're doing like a 10K and you want to be ready for it. Um, I mean, I don't really have too many problems getting up for races, right? Um, one of the things uh, that I am actually uh, very good at is getting motivated for a run. Uh, just ask any of the guys at Ragnar for my first leg. Uh, I had so much adrenaline going through my body. I think if I'd taken one of these, I'd have a heart attack. Um, the, but these things are these things are kind of cool, and I think they would be really, really awesome if I say, if you're going to try and do a park run, fast park run, fast 10K, even a fast half marathon. They noticeably gave me a boost um especially uh when i got into that long run at that 45 minute um again they just gave me a bit of a kick uh and it is it is that kind of sensation that you do get from having a cup of coffee uh like an espresso or something like that you get that uh rush but it's not like a, it's not like you get this massive come down or anything like that it's not like i say it's not like a sugar rush or anything like that because there's no sugar in these things you, you, i didn't seem to get a come down so to speak um like you would with sugar um which can be a problem because i know some people do fuel with like jelly beans and things like that on their runs uh which is basically just neat sugar right so it's an interesting thing um i would recommend you try them um they're not going to be for everybody and i would take care with how many you take um there are recommendations i think actually where's the paper there is a thing and it says how many you should should max out on. But no more than five strips a day, yeah. Um, so be mindful of that. Um, but I think I think when they come into play, is not necessarily on on a marathon. Maybe maybe actually at 20 miles, this is a good shout. Um, but I think like, as I said, if you're going for a PB, a, a, a 10 k or something like that, that's probably where they'll come into use. Or so they say, oh, that 20 miler. But yeah, definitely worth a shot. Um, it is interesting, it is different. Um, 
but everything I think is worth a go. And, and especially try these out while you're doing your training runs. Don't take these to a race and try them for the first time. Make sure you try these out in your um, long runs or your whatever runs you're doing and just give them a go there before you go and take them out on race day. But yeah, very interesting. Um, thanks very much, Revies, for sending them to me. I say it's not paid advert, like I said before. But yeah, check them out, guys. Uh, quite interesting.